Cholesterol is one of the major risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Cholesterol is made up of a few components and these are primarily HDL cholesterol, LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, with triglycerides being a bit like the fatty material in our bloodstream. You can think of LDL cholesterol as being like the bad cholesterol that's associated with the buildup of fatty plaques, while HDL cholesterol is the good cholesterol and that can be involved in taking some of the cholesterol out of our bodies. So what does a diet that's heart healthy for cholesterol look like? Firstly, you want to minimise saturated fats. So these can be found in fatty meats, deep fried food. You also want to have a diet that's high in unsaturated and monounsaturated fats. So these can be found in olive oil, in fish, and in other things that are classically in the Mediterranean diet. And then you want to have a diet that's high in soluble fibres. So that's particularly found in certain legumes and vegetables. You want to be aiming to exercise about 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity exercise. So that boils down to doing 30 minutes most days of the week. It helps to increase muscle mass. It helps us to reduce our fat mass. And it also helps us to raise our HDL or good cholesterol. It's important to do exercise that you enjoy. So it really doesn't matter cycling, swimming, walking, jogging. What you can do for the rest of your life is what's most important. The bottom line is the less alcohol you drink, the better. We know that alcohol does increase weight. It's a form of calories. It'll raise LDL cholesterol and also raise triglycerides. And while there have been some studies that show that a glass of red wine a day can be beneficial for heart health, probably overall, not much benefit. Smoking and vaping both raise LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, but they also directly attack the arteries of the body and have so many other bad effects, lung cancer to name just one. If you need help, get it. See your physician. There are many support groups, therapies and other ways to get off the smokes and the vapes. Stress causes the release of a whole bunch of hormones that can lead us to change our eating habits, change our sleep habits, cause us to gain weight. And all of these things can ultimately lead to raised cholesterol, raised LDL cholesterol and raised triglycerides. So what can you do to reduce stress levels? There's meditation, there's Pilates, there's yoga, there's going for a walk, doing exercise, hanging out with friends. And of course, if it's all getting too much, you should seek help please talk to your physician. Well, it's important to know that cholesterol lowering medications have been around for a number of decades and in general, they're very safe. So whilst all the things we've spoken about, lifestyle measures and weight loss are really important, a lot of people are actually gonna go on and need medication. So it's important to have a conversation with your doctor because there are a number of options and your doctor can step you through these.